Mountain Bull was well known and loved by the conservation group Save the Elephants of Kenya. Save the Elephants does excellent work on behalf of Earth's last elephants and through the diligence of its founder, Dr. Ian Douglas Hamilton, studied the migratory patterns of mountain bull using various GIS mapping techniques. What he found was that mountain bull did not like fences and mapped a journey of his own even to the end. Frank Pope is the chief operations officer of Save the Elephants in Kenya and he's a writer and a lover of the oceans. Please welcome all the way from Kenya, Frank Pope to San Francisco. Hello, San Francisco. A jumbo. Thank you all very much for coming today. I can't tell you how much I wish that our team in Kenya and all the rest of those brave rangers that are on the front line of conservation every day, I wish they'd been able to see you guys walking through the streets of San Francisco today and felt that unity that now stretches around the world. My wife and daughter were marching this morning in Nairobi and I've now joined you today. Thank you. Mountain Bull was the most wonderful elephant. He was very naughty. He loved breaking fences. And uh, he was enormously charismatic. In fact, his fence-breaking behavior meant that the Kenya Wildlife Service had to chop off his tusks. And they chopped them just, uh, just below the nerve root, which is as far as you can go with an elephant without damaging their, without damaging their tusks and causing them pain. So he had these uh, awkward-looking stumpy tusks. And we thought that would help him out, in fact, because it might make him less of a target for the poachers. This year we found out that that's not the case. And even a little bit of ivory is too much ivory for an elephant. This problem is so big and so complex that we need a grand coalition to fight it. We need a coalition of you good people here in San Francisco. We need you joining with the good people of every other major city. And we need a coalition of conservation organizations, of small conservation organizations that are focused on elephants like ours, up to the big conservations, to conservation organizations. And I'm glad to tell you that this is happening. Two weeks ago in New York, the Clinton Global Initiative pulled together their second meeting for elephants and there are big political gains being made for elephants and the big funding agencies they're huge juggernauts they're like oil tankers they take a long time to turn around but they are taking notice now and i'm glad to tell you that there are some bright spots on the ground in Samburu, where we have our headquarters, this year, for the first year since this crisis reignited, the births of elephants have exceeded deaths. This is a tipping point in the right direction. Now what we need to do, and the only reason that this has happened is because conservationists in that area have held hands, have linked arms, and have worked together to save the elephants. And that's what we need to do now. We need to grow this coalition. We need you to speak to your friends, speak to your government, and make sure these bans on ivory, because it is demand for ivory that's driving all this killing. We need to make, we need to hold them to their word. We need to stop the trade in ivory. I'd just like to end by saying, that this is not a new problem. We faced this crisis once before in the 70s and 80s. We faced it many times before, but once before in, in the modern world with the terrible killing power of automatic weapons in the 70s and 80s. And that was also fueled by demand for ivory. That time around, 
The coalition between people and policy makers saved the day. And elephants enjoyed a 20 year respite from the ivory trade. We can do it again, and we will with your help. So on behalf of Kenya and everyone who works for, for, for elephants in Kenya and in Africa, I'd like to say thank you very much indeed. Um, elephants are, are, are headlining at the uh, Wildlife Conservation Expert, uh, Expo this coming weekend. If anyone wants to hear more, come along. Uh, it's a wonderful event and uh, we'll be talking in more detail about the crisis and about what you guys can do to help. Thank you.